is Terrence Beeks again coming before you <clears throat> um, to answer another question that a lot of times is asked about um, that a lot of people have a question about and the question today that I want to answer is who was most at fault in the Garden of Eden Adam or Eve you know a lot of times uh, you hear about Eve eating or taking the fruit and the woman was the one who took the fruit and she ate the fruit first and then she gave it to her husband and they, and they ate it um, let's take a look at that uh, you look over in Genesis chapter 2 and um, verse number 15 Genesis 2 15 the Bible says the Lord God took the man it says the man that's single singular the Lord God took the man and put him in the garden of Eden to work it and keep it verse 16 says and the Lord God commanded the man saying you may surely eat of every tree of the garden but of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil you shall not eat for in the day that you eat of it, you shall surely die. Now, that, I mean, that's the Bible. That's what it says. Then the next verse says, then the Lord God said, it is not good that the man should be alone. I will make him a helper to fit for him. So that, what that says, and then it goes down, it says, um, if you drop down to verse um, number 20, it says in, in Genesis chapter 2, it says, The man uh, gave name to all livestock and birds in heaven and every beast of the field. But Adam, there was not found a helper fit for him. So the Lord God caused a deep sleep to fall upon the man. And when he slept, he took a rib and closed the place with his fresh flesh. And the rib that the Lord God had taken from the man, he made into a woman and brought her to the man. So <clears throat> basically God had given the man a command. He said, look, all of the fruits and everything here you can eat. But if you eat this fruit right here, you're going to die. Okay. Now hold that in your mind. Then in Genesis 3.11, in Genesis 3.11, the Bible says, um, he said, he said, who told you that you were naked? This is after Adam said, uh, uh, we're back up to nine for, for emphasis sake. But the Lord God called to the man and said to him, where are you? And he said, I heard the sound of you in the garden and I hid myself. Um, I, uh, because, I, because I was naked I hid myself You see who told you that you were naked Have you eaten the tree which I commanded you Not to eat Now that question he asked the man He didn't ask Eve He asked the man Now we go on and another point was He said uh, Later on in Genesis Chapter 3 The Lord said to the man He said and to Adam he said, because you have listened to the voice of your wife and you have eaten of the tree of which I commanded you, you should not eat of it. Curse is the ground for your sake and the pain. You should eat of it all the days of your life, thorns and thistles it shall bring forth. You shall eat the plants of the field. By the sweat of your face you shall eat bread till you return to the ground, for out of it you are taken. You are dust, and to the dust you shall return. All right. So, what what show what what that reveals just right there in Genesis is that had Adam Adam not eaten the the, the forbidden fruit, we would still be living forever now. Adam caused us by him eating that fruit. It is basically Adam's fault that we are now. We have to die. We all have to physically die. 
because of what Adam did. Now, if you look over in Romans 3, rather Romans 5, Romans 5, and in Romans 5, and look at ver verse number, let's see, verse number 12, 5 and 12, the Bible says, Therefore, just as sin came into the world through one man, you see that? Through one man, and death through sin, so death spread to all men because all sin. So when Adam sinned, it caused it, it caused all of us. The penalty was that all of us had to die. Now in Romans five eighteen it says. It says. Um, let me see here. Therefore, as one transgression or trans trespass led to condemnation for all men so one act of righteousness leads to justification and life for all men so in other words if we obey Jesus because of his one act of following God and doing what God says to do is going to allow everybody the opportunity to be saved in the end but we still all got to die because of what Adam did so um, that was my, um, um, that's answering the question, uh, who was most at fault in the Garden of Eden, Adam and Eve? Well, it was Adam, not Eve. All right. Thank you very much for listening. Hopefully you pay attention to some of the other comment things. Um, if you have any questions or comments, you can you'd be happy to um, um, post a question in the comment section. Thank you. Have a good day.